All right, so today we're just going to make a video on Bo Jackson, Todd Gurley, and then most of all, the NFL Top 100 quarterback, Tom Brady. So, um, as you know, EA has been giving out some free cards these few weeks prior to the next update, or rather, right after the Christmas update. Um, you basically get one NFL 100 player as an NAT for free. So yeah, we're just going to jump into some gameplay. As you can see here, um, I'm just using Bo and Todd. They're just taking turns on this guy. Um, he doesn't really know how to stop my run. So, uh, I'm just motioning over Watt. You got to get, a, in order for this run to work, you need to find a tight end that can really block for you. Um, whether it's lead block that's very high or impact block, either one works. I prefer impact block because I notice it more, but it's really up to you guys. So, um, as you can see here, my Tom Brady is lighted and he's ready to go, but um, I'm not using him right now because he can't stop my run. So, I'm just going to continue to run on, run on him until he can show me that he can stop my run and blow me up, you know, in the backfield. So right here, I'm running it with Bo. Um, I'm just reading my screens, reading my gaps, and just getting free yards. Um, and yeah, Bo's a beast, but you got to be careful because he doesn't have the X factor automatically when he starts the game like Jickerson does. But just be careful a little bit. Um, but he'll get you yards as soon as he crosses the line of scrimmage, so... On this play, I'm using an end zone play, one of my favorites, and we're just gonna see the throw that Tom Brady's about to make. Um, it's really good. He's the best quarterback, I think, in the game. I slowed this down for you so you can see. His user's right on me too, so he has Sean Taylor, the new one, so um, there should be no reason why he shouldn't be able to pick it off. As you can see, his user's right where I wanna throw it right there. Um, I'm reading RB. And I just see RP wide open. Um, anybody that has a quarterback um, that throws that ball is getting intercepted. But for some reason, he was able to make that read and make that adjustment. On here on defense, you know, I basically just, I don't know what he's doing too much. But he's just running some coverage that I don't know. He basically just wants to run off at the random Cunningham. Um, don't recommend that especially because the QB spies are so fast now. It's not like it was in the beginning of the year. Right here, I'm doing some dumb mistakes by screwing up my adjustments, so I'm in a stock coverage, but it's all good because he doesn't really know what he's doing on offense, so um, I'm just using my Pat Tillman, uh, spying him because I don't want him to run out the pocket, so um, I'm a spy out there, and you know we're just going to play safe and you know he doesn't know apparently he doesn't know how to throw the ball away so that cost him a few yards he's in third and 17 um i'm getting my adjustments finally ready and yeah so doing my audibles as well um yeah so i like to come in big nickel when it's third and long fourth and long stuff like that um just getting ready and you know i'm looking at deep because I know he wants to bomb it deep but you know Devin Bush is really fast it's fine so um, I also have Blurker on him so that's really good but you know my team has been playing really well and fourth and long he's going for this bad idea um, if you're fourth and 30 just don't go for it because the chances of you getting that playoff is like very hard and if you do get it off like you're not going to get the first down most likely. And if you do, you know, EA will give you the luck on wh how you got the first down, but it'll cheat you back during the the most crucial times of the game. Right here, uh, this is a different opponent. I just gave up a stupid run. I was in big nickel. Um, that's my fault, and I paid for it, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, you know, I paid for that, and that's fine. I took my loss there. I should have been in 3-4. But right here, I just want to show you something beautiful. So this is a 4th and 20 situation, right? 
and all the odds are against me. I have 20 yards to go. I have three routes on the field, and I'm looking for X, right? And he thinks that he sees I'm going for RB, he thinks, but I'm going for X. And as that lineman is about to kill Tom Brady, he slings that ball deep. And guess what happens? I didn't aggressive catch this. I just rack catched it. And Torrey Holt just runs off, burns light night train lane for a touchdown. I didn't show you the rest of it because it would have been embarrassing to watch for the other guy. So right here, I pick him off. Um, he throws a bad read. And that spin move with Dion, I'm telling you, like, Dion, yes, he's a great defensive player, but he also has amazing spin and amazing juke. Take advantage of that. Every time you get a pick, do it. And right here, I just slowed you down this one last play for Tom. So I'm going over one of my favorite red zone plays, and I'm looking for Tori Holt, and watch what happens. All right, so we're going to start our review of Tom Brady, um, what I think is good and what I think is bad about him. Obviously, you won't be able to escape the pocket um, like normal quarterbacks that are being played nowadays, like the Vicks, Mahomes, and Lux, obviously. But I think I would rather sacrifice running out the pocket and make good reads than, you know, running out the pocket and make a prayer play, if that makes sense. He, um, at, when I used him, he's made every throw that I want him to read and uh, to throw. It's just sometimes it's annoying when they do the blitz sack because you know you're gonna get you need to toss it away right away. But like you know he's dangerous. If you give him enough time, he's gonna give you some problems. Um, don't be surprised if you see a lot of the and these cards in head to head or weekend league or whatever game mode you're playing. You're gonna see a lot of these cards out on the field. So. Uh, my overall na analysis of this card is really good. Um, just be sure to have some good linemen. And most importantly, just um, be a run-dominant offense, first of all. Because that's what Madden 20 is this year, as much as I hate to admit it. you know, As good as this card is, it, it won't work if you don't run the ball. So keep running the ball. Um, once in a while, make your opponent guess. Stay in the same formation. Motion over the same guys. But just make him guess on which side he wants to engage at and surprise him, you know, because that's what you're going to need to do with this card. So over analysis, if I were to give him a rating out of 10, um, I'd give him like a nine and a half, nine and a half, nine and a half rating. Um, maybe a 10 if he can get a little bit more of the deep throw, but 94 is enough. I have him chemmed up to 94 with go deep. If you guys have a Patriots theme team, you have no problem with this card. He is flawless. So I have a Seahawks theme team, so it's a little hard for me, but 94, it's it's beautiful. Um, the way he throws the ball, I love it. So nine and a half out of 10, um, that throw power deep, it's really where it's aching me. So yeah. Moving over to our second guy to review. Uh, this is Bo Jackson. Um, you guys have been wanting this card. I've been wanting this card. He's he's awesome. Um, do I think he's worth it? Yes. Everybody should have one of this guy, one of these, uh, this um, card on your team. Um, Bo Jackson is one of a kind. He can truck. He doesn't fumble as much as the other running backs. So um, I would definitely recommend him. Um, now let's talk about his pros and cons. So his pros is that, you know, if he gets past the line of scrimmage, um, he will fight and lean over for yards. He will fight like nobody's business. But if he doesn't, this is where the cons come in, um, he will get sacked. You know, if Deion Sanders can sack him or tackle him in the backfield, um, you know, like... Some of the smallest corner, Tyron Matthew, can tackle him in the backfield. He has to cross the line of scrimmage. So what I recommend is that you get a lot of good offensive linemen, fullbacks, just to help you block, give you enough time to go make a play. Um, so 
The card review, I think he's really good. I have Armbar, Bulldozer, and then I have Jukebox on him. I tried inside and outside Zone Guru. Those aren't worth it. Those abilities are really bad. Um, I'd rather you have Jukebox and all this other stuff, Armbar and Bulldozer, just so that fact that you have the option to do whatever you want um, in certain situations because you don't know when you're going to need armbar or you don't know when you're going to need bulldozer or you don't know when you're going to need jukebox you know so it's best to have all those those three ability expendable than just having out inside zone where you can only run inside zone so um this card it's a 10 out of 10 best running back in the game um until if you're watching this video today he is the best running back in the game um anyone that wants to challenge me can but I believe he is the best, so go cop yourself a Bo Jackson. Make sure to get him to 99 speed. You'll notice the difference right away. But yeah, so that's it for Bo Jackson. Uh, get yourself a bow. So the last card to review for this video is Todd Gurley. Um, I think he's very underrated. Uh, by saying that, I mean he's not the best running back on the market, but if you want someone that can get you a few yards, He's definitely like a good secondary. He's probably the best secondary running back you can have. Um, obviously, you can say you can have Dickerson or Barry Sanders as your second backup, but I, something about this Todd Gurley is a little different than Barry Sanders and um, Dickerson because maybe because Todd Gurley has 97 break tackle. I don't really know, but I have him at 97 break tackle with power run and um, John Madden coach. So. But if you have like an all Rams team, this card is really, really good. But having said that, let's go through some of the pros and cons. So for the pros, um, very elusive, very agile. Um, so he can really get cracked through holes, especially if you have inside zone guru on him, which I have. Um, really solid card all around. Um, there's nothing really bad about this card except for the one factor we're going to the cons is the speed um he doesn't have the highest speed he has 94 speed to me and to everybody like a month ago that's amazing but right now um speed really matters and 94 speed you're gonna get caught in the backfield so um you may not fumble but you know he's definitely a really good secondary um, running back, especially when your Bo Jackson or your Eric Dickerson gets tired. Um, you need someone else that can just play a few downs or a few snaps, rather. So, yeah, I would pick this card up um, if you don't have a secondary running back. Um, for those of you that have Dickerson, um, yes, Dickerson is better, but the only reason why is because of his X Factor, but without Dickerson's X Factor, if it was just the card itself, I would argue Tart Gurley is better. Um, you know, as you know now, like if you start playing, Dickerson is not what he used to be before. So, um, back to Todd Gurley, um, the rating I would give this guy is around, I'd say, a, I'd say, a eight point. 8.8 .8 to 9, somewhere around there. Um, not your ideal running back, but a, definitely a good secondary option. So yeah, if you need a secondary running back, I would go pick him up. Um, but having said all that, this concludes the review for these three cards. Um, take my advice uh, and comment down below if you want to see more reviews.